summer is approaching, so today we're making these easy, delicious chocolate ice cream bars. I'm gonna show you two versions, including one without a mold. Once you see how easy these are to make and how good these taste, you'll be making these every week. Okay, so believe it or not, this recipe comes together super easily. You'll need some heavy cream. Now let's talk about the cream. If you don't have it, you can substitute it for whole milk. However, keep in mind, it's going to be more of an icicle rather than a creamsicle. It's in the name, creamsicle. Milk is essentially all water, so lots of ice crystals will form. It will still be delicious, but the fat and the heavy cream really gives the ice cream bars better texture and adds more flavor. Now as a sweetener, I'm using sweetened condensed milk. I like the flavor of it and it blends easily, but you could also use plain good old sugar. If you do choose to use sugar, just mix as well until it's completely dissolved. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. I post new videos every week. I've added some vanilla, give it a good mix and our ice cream base, believe it or not, it's done. At this point, if you want to turn this into chocolate ice cream, you can add some cocoa powder. What I love about this recipe is that it's really customizable to your liking. If you want to add some peanut butter to this ice cream base or Nutella, I've tried both and let me tell you how amazing both are. If you don't have an ice cream mold, you can pour this mixture into a tray and once frozen, just cut it into bars and dip those in the chocolate mixture, kind of like Klondike bars. I really wanted to give you this option because I really want to show you how easily you can make these without a mold. You don't need a mold to make ice cream bars. Now, once you cut these into bars, squares, rectangles, whatever you want, you're going to pop these back in the freezer just for about 15 minutes. This allows the ice cream to firm up again before you dip it into the chocolate. Okay, so back to the regular ones. You're going to pop these as well into the freezer until frozen. I usually like to make this the day before for the day after. It's easy and more convenient. Now fast forward to the day after. I'm going to show you how to make that crispy, thin chocolate shell. You'll need some chocolate and to this you're going to add some oil. Now, if you want to keep this entirely three ingredients, you know, cream, sweetener, and chocolate, you certainly can, but the oil is what really thins the chocolate out and gives you that thin, crispy chocolate shell. Pop this mixture in the microwave, or you know, you could also use a double boiler, stirring it every 30 seconds until it's fully melted. Transfer this into a tall glass and allow this to come to room temperature. Do not put your frozen creamsicle in this because it's just going to melt, obviously. Take a creamsicle, you want to do this one at a time, so put the other ones back in the freezer and quickly dip it into the chocolate. Allow the excess chocolate to drip off and you'll see this hardens within seconds. This is so much fun to do if you have kids, let them do this. You can see the chocolate really hardens within seconds it goes from this shiny melted chocolate to almost matte, I want to say. Now, if you want to add some chopped peanuts, which I highly recommend, we got to work fast. You're going to dip the ice cream bar into the chocolate. Again, allow the excess to drip off and then immediately roll the bar into the peanuts. This is my absolute favorite way to eat these ice cream bars. If you've ever tried Choco Tacos, well, that's heaven right there. And that's heaven right here because these taste exactly like Choco Tacos. Put these on a plate and enjoy. You can store these in the freezer covered well for up to a month probably. Mine never lasted more than a week because they're amazing. There's so many delicious flavor combinations and variations that you could do. And I promise you that no store-bought popsicle will taste this good. You're so wild.